Hello everyone, and welcome to this Analyst Angle. I'm Bob La Liberté, Principal Analyst with theCUBE Research. And today I'm joined by Anil Varanasi, founder of Meter, to discuss how it's using its innovation to optimize network operations. Welcome Anil. Bob, thank you so much for having me. It's great to chat with you all as always. Yeah, absolutely. So why don't we get started? And you know, this is an interesting story. I was introduced to Meter probably about six months or so ago and been tracking your progress. And it's, you know, it's really interesting to see with everything that's going on today in the network, we just did some research and for example, and showed how the network is so much more important to driving business outcomes, yet organizations are strained because about 80% or more are saying the network's more or much more complex than it was just two years ago. So I thought it would be great to highlight some innovations that really help deliver real value and help organizations optimize their, their network operations. Um, and I think you've got some recent announcements on that. But before we go there, uh, I was hoping you could just share a little bit more about Meter and its story. Because if I remember correctly from our initial meetings, what really stuck with me is this is a, a network as a service, but built by network engineers for network engineers. So I was hoping you could maybe explain to everyone watching really what that means and how that drives innovation at Meter. Sure, I think there's been a bunch of things that the industry has kind of made truisms, um, but hasn't really followed up on, on. So a couple of things. One is, I think we've always heard for the last five, seven years is hardware is commoditized. Um, and that's true, but hardware is incredibly important on the choices you make and what business model is driving those hardware choices so you can have better outcomes for software. So we started about a decade ago, first focused on building better hardware. And we believe with that hardware, we can build better software. And this is how we do packet processing, packet manipulation, packet movement, then applications on top, APIs, and other things to provide really better software for network design, network configuration, and network management. And the third thing that's also unique with how Meter does it is we're entirely vertically integrated, so that's much easier for IT teams. Like you mentioned, we believe and we are seeing it that there are now more devices on a network and companies are growing, but IT teams commiserately are not. So another big focus for us with the integration is everything from ISP, routing, switching, wireless, DNS security, SD-WAN, VPN, and management are all built in into a single piece of software. And that brings a lot of advantages. So what we want to do is make it really easy for IT teams and networking teams to get great infrastructure, no matter what type of space they're in. Got it, got it. Well, it certainly sounds like it makes a lot of sense and that being able to consolidate everything onto a single platform is going to help with that end-to-end -end visibility, end-to-end -end management, and overall just being able to, to optimize the operations. That's exactly right. And, you know, networking, like you're mentioning, has become so important that let's say you're in a school, um, that's how students are getting their information. You might be in a warehouse and there's robots and scanners and tablets and computers. Um, you might be in a lab space. Similarly, most of the equipment in labs is now internet connected. Obviously in office spaces with distributed workforces, it's incredibly important. Then we're looking at financial services firms, technology firms, and, spaces in general are incredibly dependent on networking and it's imperative that networking is performant reliable and secure yeah absolutely i've, I've talked for a long time about the um the transition uh from dial tone to wi-fi signal and organ <laughs> right the first thing you do it used to be in the old days uh right we would go and and we would you know, get off a plane and the first thing you do is find a phone bank so you can go make your phone calls, right? And you need to hear that dial tone when you picked up. Today, it's all about, do I have signal? Can I connect? Uh, and it's just becoming more and more important. The more distributed we are, people working from home, it's just really imperative to have that connectivity and the importance of the network in these highly distributed environments today as well with applications being distributed across multiple data centers, edge locations, et cetera, everything that's going on. So uh, I couldn't agree with you more on that, on that piece. 
Um, yeah. And uh, I, I, maybe if I could add something there is um, because of that is how we even started the business. We started about a decade ago. And I think when we last chatted, we, we mentioned on how quiet we've been until this year, until we know we have the best products objectively and subjectively across all the things I mentioned. But it's also fundamentally how we're structured as a business down to even why we're called meter. Um, we think this should be more like a utility. Buildings have electricity and water and telephone, and there's power meters and water meters. And you know, it's always been incongruous to us how I could sit at my computer and spin up a bunch of servers on EC2. But if I'm an engineer and I'm trying to get good networking for my spaces, it's a long, arduous task. And it's incredibly expensive, incredibly capital intensive. And I have to jump through a bunch of hoops internally and externally before being able to get great infrastructure. And we think that should be entirely different. And a lot of what you're seeing about NAS today, and you know, like we've been thinking about it for a long time. If you go to NAS.com, there's more on what we've written about it. We think great products and great services should come together because of the requirements that you're mentioning that IT and networking teams have today. Yeah, no, I think that's great. And I hadn't heard that story before. So it's always it's always great to hear how organizations got started and what drove the name of the company. So I like that, like we were talking about with the dial tone. So that that lines up perfectly with the the concept yes. of having network as a utility. And um, and it's great to see the progress. Like I said, it, that was the other thing that was really impressive when I spoke to you, that concept of we're not releasing something until we know. So there's no PowerPoint where there's no right, trying to stall the market and we're announcing something and it'll be ready in two years. So I think that's that's fantastic. Obviously your customers have to appreciate that. Um, and getting around to, to that, I know just recently um, you had an announcement. So I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into what you just announced, because I think it's it's one, it's, it's pretty innovative. And two, um, well, I think there's there's going to be a lot of I think a lot of benefits for organizations who are trying to optimize their, their network operations. I believe you call it meter command. And so I'm wondering if you could spend a little bit of time explaining what new features and functionality you're bringing out with that and how customers can benefit from it. Yeah, so, you know, I studied networking in college and I've been working networking for a couple of decades now. And a lot of my colleagues here too, we all grew up using command line. And the great thing about CLI was that you can get information really fast and take action really fast. But the downside is that you have to learn the shibboleths of every CLI over and over again. Remember that. In the last decade, most of networking has moved into dashboards. And dashboards are great because you don't really have to learn much. It's point and click, but it's much slower than CLI. And if you want something different, or if you want something that fits your workflow, you generally have to put in a feature request and you know, three, six months or a year later, you're getting that back. So what we've been thinking about is Meter has this unique architecture with our hardware and operating systems and firmware and APIs. What can we do to solve the problems of being able to get information and take action really fast? So taking the best of CLIs, and best of dashboards and how do we combine them into a single thing. So command solves three important problems with that. First, the underpinning of command is entirely natural language. And again, it's true natural language. You don't have to learn anything, uh, learn any commands, if you will, or know anything about command to start using it. First, you can get information really fast. So that might be information about ISPs, firewall rules, security, what's happening with SSIDs, what's happening with DNS security, uh, what's happening with a particular switch or getting the help of a particular client, maybe because we're debugging something. And normally that might take 10, 15 minutes to sift through all the logs. You can just say, hey, for this client, can you just give me the help? So first, command makes it very easy to get information about anything across all your network infrastructure, across all your locations. Second, what command does is makes it easy to take action. Let's say somebody has you know, a large warehouse footprint and they're installing new cameras or access control. They want to create a bunch of VLAN and firewall rules. Command is incredibly intuitive in the way of just saying that. 
So saying, hey, create me this firewall rule with this port, you know, this protocol, et cetera, and then create this VLAN, and then I want to block this way. You just say that, and it can take action for you. And the last thing command can do is actually generate software entirely on the fly. We think one of the things that's happened with dashboards again is you kind of have to wait three, six months or a year to get exactly the workflow you want. And what we want to enable meter customers to have is essentially a software engineer sitting right next to them. We think software should be malleable and it should be soft. So if you go and ask command, hey, just give me the, make me a dashboard with this, this, and you know, uptime and firewall rules and this switch, at the speed of a search, it will just give you entire dashboards on the fly. So what we announced and what we have out there is command can get information, take action, and generate software entirely on the fly just the way you want. And hopefully it's the best of CLI and dashboards. And this is where we think software is going in general and particularly in networking from now on. Yeah, that's really that's really fascinating. I love the ability to not have to get a PhD in command line interfaces to be able to operate the device. So clearly that allows allows users who potentially aren't as skilled or but know the network but don't know the command lines, right? And and as you mentioned, having to learn that for every different um, every different device or vendor that you might use can be can be quite troublesome. So the ability for organizations to use natural language, I assume this also means that, that even executives could go in and request a dashboard as well. Yeah, and we have role-based access control in there as well um, so that you know, we can have executives that can read but not write um, and have information that's available for them, that's useful for them. Um, it might be different stakeholders in a business, uh, might be from real estate or others just trying to understand the space. It might be a security team that wants to get information because they're going through compliance so they can get information faster. These are all things today that great at a networking team and an IT team where they have to go pull all this information, make it look good and translate it for others. Uh, but with robot access control and ability to share this piece of software that's generated, you know, teams can decide who they want to invite into command. Yeah, no, that, that's perfect. Yeah, and I would think security would be a big piece of that. Uh, and the other, the other aspect of this, as you mentioned, is the time. So having previously been in product management and, and running that and trying to make decisions on all the requests that come in from the customers and what release they get into and how long it takes, you've basically shortened that from months or years down to just minutes, essentially. Seconds. Yeah, seconds. Okay. Yeah, which is, <laughs> you know, that is, that's great, I think. Um, so let me ask you this, given given this, I know you've just released it a few weeks ago, but what kind of response are you getting from your customers when you show this to them, when they see yeah. it, you know, security teams, executives, et cetera, when they understand how easy it is for them to be able to set up their own dashboards? You know, we started using this internally ourselves across our support operations engineering teams. So we knew it was a good product. Um, but once it's been out there the last couple of weeks, the response has just been tremendous across customers, industry, analysts, and others. Um, I think the thing that's surprisingly great about command and what we keep hearing is uh, just how accurate it is and just how fast it is. And being able to go from something that takes you know 30 minutes to an hour to seconds Totally, once people start using it, the impact of that has been great. And so, so far, the response has been really positive across the board. And one of the goals we had with Command is to be able to serve a barbell of customers. Generally, when you're building software, you're either building for someone that's incredibly you know, well-versed in one part of what you're building or somebody that might be early or novice or, you know, knows other things. So for example, you know, we've had customers that they have folks on their team that know wired networking really well, but they have other colleagues that might know wireless. And when they generally have had questions about what's going on on the wireless network, they have to go bug another colleague and, you know, or create a ticket and try to get information. And what's been incredible to watch is that barbell of 
yes, I know wired networking really well, but I don't know wireless, but now I can use command to get information or take action um, or have a colleague review. Because another big part of what we have in command is the software is entirely multiplayer and collaborative. So while you are in command working on things, you, you can have your colleagues work on those things with you as well. So this actually came from, you know, when we all were learning networking, one of the great things was you had somebody peer over your shoulder and help you if you're trying to do some commands or they can point out some mistakes or say, you might want to try this. We built that same environment into command where it's entirely multiplayer. So as you're in there doing, you'll see all your colleagues, cursors moving around and be able to work with you. So those barbell of customers that we have, um, and no matter if you're incredibly an expert or you might be a novice, being able to use command because it's natural language based and you know it's the limit of your own capability, uh, we've heard some really great things. Similarly, um, partners have been incredibly excited by it. Uh, generally, if you're a partner, one of the limits you have to growing your business is that you don't want to take on more customers than you can service really well. And what we're seeing and hearing from command is it enables them to increase the quality of their service to each of their customers, decrease the amount of time it takes, which means they can go service more customers. So that's also been really interesting to watch. Yeah, that's great. It sounds like, it sounds like uh, the meter command is going to be a home run for you guys. And I'm, you know, I find this really fascinating and I'm sure we could be talking about this for the rest of the day. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this analyst angle right now. So I want to uh, thank you, Anil, for joining me today. Thank you, Bob. And I want to thank all of you for watching this analyst angle on optimizing network operations. Uh, for more information on Meter and this new innovation that they have out there, Meter Command, please make sure you visit their website at www.meter.com.